Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So it's day six, six, is it day six? Damn it, I did it again. Day five, yes, it's day six. Holy crap. See, time flies when you're having fun, guys. <laughs> so I have three things that I want to talk about. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is you have to commit to get active. Now, a lot of people are like, well, you can lose weight on a low carb regimen and you don't have to get active. Yeah, but just because you lose a bunch of weight doesn't mean you're healthy. Doesn't mean you can run if you had to, or you know what I mean? Like literally your body is not going to be in its tip top fit and healthy mental shape, greatness, if you're not actually committing to get active. So please commit to at least a half hour a day. If you're in the challenge, an hour a day. It's not a big deal. Member, get your random act of kindness. Good job yesterday, Tasha, with your random act of kindness. I love that everybody's getting out there and doing it. The second thing that I wanted to let you know is have a clear goal. A lot of the times we overthink this or overlook this and just a simple journal like this, I'll put a link to the description, link in the description below to one that you could pick up for a couple bucks yourself. But seriously, just a spiral bound notebook or something simple, a little fitness journal, something that you can put your measurements in as well as uh, your beginning weight, your ending weight along the way, what your goals are, what you're actually looking to achieve here. Because if you're literally just spinning your wheels and you're like, well, I want to lose five pounds or I just want to lose weight. You know, I don't, I don't know what I need to lose or I don't care what I lose. I just, if you don't have a clear mindset on what you're actually going to do, do I want you to have crazy loft, lofty, insane goals? You know, I want to lose a hundred pounds and you get all stressed out and you're like, oh, I got to lose a hundred pounds, you know, no. But if your main goal is a hundred pounds, do it. If you have a smaller goal that's 5, 10, 15, or 20 pounds, do it. Write down a date. Write down a time to complete that actual action by, or else you're just going to be spinning your wheels forever. So definitely keep that in mind, guys. The next thing is going to be if you have questions you need to ask. Seriously, you can either watch my videos and usually you can get most of your answers asked, questions answered there. But if you don't find it in the videos, uh, usually binge watching the videos I hear is the best way to actually get to where you're wanting to be as far as answers go. I cover so much information guys and I'm not trying to sound like I'm you know, holier than thou or something. I'm just saying, like I've, I've, I have over 700 videos. I have a lot of videos and I've covered a lot of topics. So usually you can get all your information there. If you can't, message me. It's okay. I just don't want you guys to guess. You have to have the proper information. Don't ever guess. Don't ever think your questions are stupid. The only stupid question is the one that you never ask. Why? Because then you come up with some stupid random answer yourself and if it's incorrect you could potentially ruin your whether being in ketosis or you could ruin your meal plan you could stall your weight loss you could inhibit your weight loss there's all kinds of things you could slow down uh you you could be unhealthy please just definitely ask it's more important to me that you flood my inbox full of messages rather than getting wrong or misinformation or just assuming something that is not true. So definitely keep that in mind. If you guys are new to a low carb lifestyle, to Atkins, to keto, to weight loss, to whatever you are following, it's important that you get a few things figured out. Now I'm going to give you a quick run through of the things that I feel that are the absolute necessities and I'll put links to the links in the description below to all these items. I never, never, never refer you to crazy expensive items. I'm a low budget person. I want you guys to be able to find these products and actually gain knowledge not lose money so it's definitely important but i feel that these are really important and a necessity when you're starting these type of regimens so the first thing is going to be measuring cups super simple you're only going to need a couple you're going to need like a one tablespoon a half a cup and a full cup 
Honestly, you're gonna get them in a pack. They're gonna come in like 10 or whatever. You're gonna get all that you could ever need. The next thing is Tupperware. Rubbermaid seems to be the best. It's only a couple bucks. It lasts you a long time. It works well in the microwave. Uh, the next thing, obviously I said the journal. That's really important. A food scale. A digital food scale. Why I say this is important, you can get the non-digital ones, but honestly, they're not as accurate. And especially when you're only measuring, you know, six or eight or nine or four ounces of food, a lot of the times it's kind of inaccurate and it can be very, very different. This is gonna be to the T. It's like 10 bucks. Like seriously, 10 bucks, and it's gonna last you a lifetime, granted that you don't smash it on the floor because it is glass it's glass but the batteries lasted me i've had this over a year now and i bought it when i started a low carb regimen so definitely keep that in mind the next thing <laughs> a reusable water bottle and the reason i say that is because i literally went through a hundred water bottles a week a week just destroying the environment didn't even think about the impact and I was just, they were everywhere. It was just everywhere in the car. It was just a pain. Now I literally have one. That's it. I can just refill it. Uh, also, obviously, this is the one that keeps your water cold for up to 24 hours. That's a no-brainer, especially if you're in the desert. The next thing, these are like a buck. And I'm not trying to like sell you guys products. It's not about that. I just know that if you're starting this and you don't have these tools, then it's important that you do get them. And you're only gonna have to buy them once. It, it, it's literally like 25 or $30 investment in the beginning and never again. So, you know, these things don't go bad. Measuring tape, uh, a lot of the times you can find these for like a dollar or $5 or whatever everywhere. But if you can see it, depending on where you're at in the world, that's gonna be inches on one side, centimeters on the other side. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. I think I found one for 95 cents. So I'll definitely link to that. A measuring cup, and the reason I say this one glass measuring cup is because eventually you're gonna probably wanna get crafty and stuff and it's good for baking. Most of you guys have this, but if you don't, get it. And the reason I say that is because this is really discouraging to put two cups of lettuce in this one time and one time and it's like, oh man, I'm not getting no food. Your mind is telling you that you're not getting enough food when you actually are, but two cups in this obviously here looks like a lot more. So you're kind of tricking your brain. So definitely pick one of those up. Last but not least, one of the most important things, yes, you're not supposed to watch it every day. Yes, you're not supposed to look at it so much. But let's be honest, we're doing this because we wanna lose weight. And I will say, the person that got me this is Debbie. It's got that crazy cool blue light. Uh, I think it's like, you can get them for, this one specifically is called Utopia Home. Uh, I think you can pick it up for like 20 bucks. I'll put a link to the description below. I'll put also a link to a cheaper one and to the Fitbit scale because Jennifer was talking about that the other day and that was super cool. It even says her name on it. Like that's really cool. And it links up to like your Fitbit and stuff like that. You guys, I hope this information helped you. I hope that you're doing good and following the meal plan. Keep up the good work. I'm seeing tons of changes with you guys. We have what is that, eight days left of the two week challenge. Remember to get your hour of activity in, your hour, or um, your random act of kindness, your 15 minutes of reading. Oh, one more thing I wanna tell you guys. Hold on one second. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. I can't believe I just did that. I'm back. <laughs> um, Tasha sent me this book yesterday. It's called Jump by Steve Harvey. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description below. And why I'm gonna do that is because I'm gonna wait about seven days to start it. If anybody wants to start that book with me and we can talk about it along the way, that's perfectly fine. It's an inspirational book. It's something that he, uh, apparently he's got lots of them out there, which is really cool. But definitely check it out, you guys. Have a beautiful day. Keep up the good work. Hashtag be stronger than your excuses. And remember to spread love, not hate. Peace. Yes, I know I'm wearing glasses and it's inside.